ask you, please, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? My hair looked like the way it did. Why my hair wasn't thin or why it didn't, um, you know, blow in the wind. Why were my puffs so puffy? In middle school, I started wearing it out and then I felt like it was too poofy and big, so I started chemically altering it. What does your hair signify to you? Beauty, strength. <laughs> style your hair. How do I style my hair? Um, I usually put, I wet it first, um, and then I put shea moisture in it with like three different products. I put gel, con leave-in conditioner, and then I have like milky products that I would wash through my hair. But if it's dry, you usually just use a spritz bottle. Is there a specific reason you wear your hair natural? Um, it's easier for me. I don't really have to go through a whole process, but as long as I keep it like moisturized, I feel like it's just easier for me. Have you ever felt negatively about your hair? When I was younger, yeah, because I lived in a predominantly white neighborhood, but now I feel more comfortable. I felt like my hair always had to be straight, but then after a while, like me and my mom talked about it and realizing that natural hair is so much better than straight hair and being able to show my confidence through my natural hair is what made me want to do it again. Skin tone. Skin tone. I mean, to me, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice, so what's up? Beautiful. <laughs> Beauty. I think of a variety. My family, we come from dark skin to light skin. Some people have more melanin, less melanin. I think skin tone doesn't really matter. It's really who the person is on the inside. Skin tone has a lot of effects on the way people view a lot of things. Yesterday, there was an older African-American woman. I told her I'm mixed and what I was mixed with, and she told me there was nothing black about me. I even have family members who, because they're light-skinned or mixed race, they kind of act like a little bit better than you. Kind of like having the light eyes and the light skin tone, the light hair. It's like you're, you're treated better. It's like you're like you're pure or something. I've always been really dark and people would make fun of me just left and right for it. I thought it was such a negative thing and I always wanted to be lighter. I always wanted to just be somebody I just physically wasn't. And growing up and kind of finding myself, I've realized there's just, there's just so many beautiful shades. Whether you're super dark, black as night, or chocolate, or mocha, mixed and are super light, almost white. It doesn't really matter as much as people think. Because at the end of the day, we're all black. And we all end up getting treated almost exactly the same. Well, once again, I was raised in a predominantly white neighborhood. So in area, my middle school was predominantly white, my elementary school dominantly white so having dark skin made me feel uncomfortable because everybody was lighter than me and people would ask me sometimes why I was darker and I want to have the right answer and I felt uncomfortable sometimes in those situations and I just didn't feel confident. I love my skin tone. Flourishing. It's it flourishes. But um it's I, I love my skin tone now. I respect it more. I, after learning about a lot of things going into college and getting out of the town that I grew up in, I've learned a lot about it and I appreciate it so much now. I would say appreciate it. Don't let any other like race
tell you that you aren't beautiful because you are and your skin is beautiful no matter how dark you are and I was made fun of because of how dark I was but I look back on it and dark is beautiful my mom used to say the darker the berry the sweeter the 